back to work. Go on. Hey everybody, Gears here uh, with an update on the Vibro Axe. And as you may be able to tell, I've done a little more work than perhaps since the last video indicated. I don't think I've shot any video of the new Danko topper. It's close, but not quite accurate. All of the uh, spiraling here should be a knurled sort of effect. And that would be easy enough to replicate by copying the texture off another object that has that, such as like the handle on a pipe wrench, or the twisty uh, part on the pipe wrench. press that into some clay then you can press that into some more clay that's on this and you got a copy of the part. So each one of these here comes out to 18 inches. And I'm keeping all the details over on primarily the Rebel Legion forum but also on the RPF I've started my first thread there as well. So here these all top out at 18 inches most. That was the criteria for making this uh, portable for travel and we need to be able to put this into a suitcase. So cutting it all up into these pieces here it'll go fine into any suitcase with any of the other props and uh, movie stuff we're bringing. So we got three, four, five, six, seven pieces here and uh, there could be an eighth because there's some assembly stuff that goes on to that piece that's a little delicate so it may be better to separate that maybe not tough to tell but essentially all of these just slot into each other as I've mentioned on the forums uh, the basic idea was to offset the cuts on all of the wood here so uh, starting from the bottom which is the top piece there I measured up 18 inches and made a cut there. That created this piece here, which is upside down to that. So there's the cut piece there. I measured up another 18 inches, which happens to be the three foot mark where the uh, hand slower, where the hand solo blaster piece goes. And then going from the top, I measured down there a foot because that's where this lip here meets an interior bracket inside this guy here and then I just extended the wood here a little further so that it would go into this 9 inch pipe which is the remainder of the whole thing so right now these two are just hanging out kinda loose I have to attach those together so you cut up 18 from the bottom and another 18 put you at the 3 foot mark then cut down from the top until the uh, little ledge in here gets hit and then that gives you the balance which becomes the handle. All of this which will be set into the hair dryer all the way up to here. So this here is the only piece that doesn't have any wood uh, set inside it at all. The bottom piece here there's a six inch piece of dowel jammed into the back side there so that starts the footer so from there on the six inch mark I then cut the next one at 18 which when you set this in here creates a six inch overlap up there which fits into this guy here which has another 18 inch which sets something like that right there when it's uh, all set I'll put this together on video in a second that might even be better You've seen what it looks like apart now let's put it together so starting with the bottom we'll get the lower rod and this is also marked bottom and top wrapping tape around the wood will give you the diameter you need to get a really good fit this could actually be just a little tighter and then if the camera picks it up there are two bits of tape right there for the next one which is this middle body piece There is a particular cut, it, even though I did this in a miter box, it kind of went off a little bit here and there. So there is a better match than a uh, knot. So now here we got the 6 inch overlap there. Take the next pipe. Get that all the way in there.
next up and then as mentioned there's a bit of a step in here so this rests at the bottom of that step right there And then finally, this little bit of an overlap here, about three inches, slots in there. And then each one is twisted into its own particular angle, depending on uh, which way it's facing. That is one downside right now, is that it can twist around, so i got to figure out a way to maybe lock it into one place. And then finally, the blade just slots into here like this for the moment. But I will do something better, and there's still a lot more work to do on the blade itself. And as to the flex, I'm holding just above the three foot mark on a five foot pole. And it's still got some really good flex going on here. So I'm really happy about that. This is going to be a solid piece once this is all done and portable too which is probably even the better part of it so yeah you can see how unwieldy it is to get on camera here so that's why I don't really show too much of it but what I can I do and as to cutting the pipe it was just a matter of throwing it in the miter box and giving it a go so next up, there's still a lot to do. Uh, basically, uh, I think I've just about got all the parts I need. There's a couple, all the rest I just have to recreate. There's some elaborate little tubing going on here with a canister situation. Uh, there's an elaborate shape here I got to create. Then there's a particular motorcycle piece. Uh, it's just so big. It's got to go on there. And uh, the set screw, whatever it is, it's really big screw looking looking thing oh, that's just as good as that's fitting for now and that has to get set on here somewhere also got to recut all of uh, also got to cut off all the heat shrink here and set these rings better a top middle and bottom and speaking of the bottom What's got to be done here is that I can keep this curve, but this bolt thing has to go, which means the curve has got to be extended all the way to the pole. On the bottom, same thing, it's a mirror image. The curve has to go down, so I've got to cut all of this square stuff away and hope that I'll still be able to retain the center on this when I cut both of those away, because if this goes off, I don't know how I'm going to find and center it again. Then finally, the last modification is that each of these bars has to be brought up to the surface so they're flat, and then there's going to be a ring set around it. Uh, yeah, so there's a bit of work to do still. And what I'm thinking about doing for this, well, I'll show you when I get to it, but it involves Ava's epoxy, and we'll just leave it at that. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See ya.